Okay, so number one says, which of the following defines a function f for which f of negative x is equal to negative f of x? You should identify this as being an odd function. Way back when, even an odd functions were dictated whenever you would see what opposite inputs would yield as an answer. Here my input is negative x, here my input is positive x. So opposite inputs in this particular question yield opposite outputs. And the opposite outputs are shown by this positive answer and this negative answer. So odd functions plays here. So graphing wise, if I had it, say a piece of a function that extended this way, the odd function would be reflected across the y-axis and then the x-axis so that you would get some kind of this picture. For instance, let's say y is equal to x cubed. 2 yields an 8, whereas a negative 2 yields a negative 8. Opposite inputs yield opposite outputs. There's that odd function. The only one, if you were to graph these out, is the sine. And just real quick, the sine of x um, would look something like this. x squared would look like this. Cosine looks something like this. e to the x, and this is knowledge from uh, parent functions. And log of x looks something like this. So the only one that shows that it would be odd would be a.